Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about Diablo 4 potentially leak. And this leak is actually quite interesting because it's coming from Germany. And not because it comes from Germany, it's it's funny. I was clearly saying something wrong there. So the cool thing about this link is it's actually come from a German site called GameStar. And they have this, I think it's called, they have this kind of a magazine they're releasing and as you can see here they have a magazine here and of course it's in german so probably none of you will understand what it says here but according to the german side james star the ad states well it's an ad but it's not official from blizzard the ad states that the book the book so the book is an art book that will actually release on amazon called the art of diablo and here it just tells us that it's going to have art of Diablo but this German side here they are telling more than 500 artwork from Diablo 1, 2, 3 and Diablo 4. This is this ad is not an official Blizzard ad but the book itself is from you know the official Blizzard product and there is the potential that the ad publisher Panini might have made a mistake including the non-existent Diablo 4 in the game list. And thanks to the Twitter user Nary X, and then something I cannot say. Because pretty much they are saying in this gaming magazine that um, we are seeing Diablo 1, 2 and 3 and 4. <laughs> so um, they, I mean Blizzard has probably told someone that this gaming magazine is containing artwork from Diablo 1, 2, 3, 4. But they haven't probably, you know, this company just totally, probably totally forgot that, oops, we are not allowed to actually talk about Diablo 4 yet. And, I mean, that's a bummer. That's a really big bummer. But we don't know, maybe, I mean, maybe this, this, you know, magazine here is basically just doing this because of, they want attention. So now they're making me maybe a fake rumor about Diablo 4 is actually going to happen, but we don't know. But if this is true, it shows us that Diablo 4 is pretty much confirmed again. But I mean, everyone knows that Diablo 4 is confirmed. It's, it's not really new. Blizzard has even said by they even said themselves that we're going to get something big next year. They said that well before this BlizzCon. So that means we're gaining something big, and we pretty much know what that is. That's Diablo 4. Or whatever it's going to be called, maybe they will just call it Diablo. For me, if you ask me personally, I would probably prefer to be just being called Diablo. And don't don't call it Diablo 4, just call it Diablo and that's everything. But pretty exciting times, I mean. And of course it will be interesting to see if this book actually has the art of Diablo 4. But we can first buy it free two days after BlizzCon, and that means that we, we, we don't know before BlizzCon is actually done what it actually has inside the book. So that would be quite interesting to see when we actually get the hands on that book. I will probably not personally buy it because I'm not really into art books. Because yeah, um, yeah. Why, 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 why look at art in a book? I'm like, I just, I just want to play the games. So, but of course, some people would enjoy it and go enjoy it as much as you want. Well, yeah, as you can see, I have a art poster in the background from Sylvanas when she burned Tel Teldrassil, I think, wasn't it called that? Teldrassil? I think, yeah. Uh, you could probably correct me. But dinosaurs, I mean, she pretty much Tel Teldrassil dinosaurs. But yeah. So, another little leak about Diablo 4. Isn't it exciting? And it's going to be fun to see, I mean, what are we going to see at BlizzCon? Again, it looks like... We're getting Overwatch 2, we're getting Diablo 4, so two new, new big IPs, well, new new IPs, but Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2, and who is that? Maybe we even get a whole new IP, but imagine if they showed us Diablo 4, Overwatch 2, and StarCraft 3. <laughs> Damn, that would probably be the biggest Blizzard, BlizzCon ever. And um, count down to BlizzCon. How many days till BlizzCon.com? 10 days and 12 hours. Wow, 
that's going to be amazing. Remember when BlizzCon is starting, I will be covering the whole stuff. I will not be live streaming it because there's a lot of strict rules about live streaming BlizzCon. So if I if I do something in that way, I will probably get banned or something like that. So I don't want to be in bad position together with BlizzCon, uh, so Blizzard. Um, so I will not be streaming, but I will still be making movies when we see stuff. I will also be posting all the most important trailers we see in there because the thing with BlizzCon is that when they finish showing a trailer at the BlizzCon event, they don't they don't upload it to one YouTube channel. They don't like upload it to one channel so everyone can easily find the trailer. They're uploading it to probably eight different YouTube channels, so you have to really search for it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload them all for you so you will be able to watch them all. And now you can probably ask, will it not be then a bit like, you know, will it not be like a bit spamming? Probably, yeah, probably. But I mean, it's only one day I'm going to spam and that's the BlizzCon day. So it's once a year I will spam you with trailers from BlizzCon. I think you will survive that. And after that, I'm going planning on uh, doing a like overview. What did we see at BlizzCon? What was all the greatest things we saw at BlizzCon? And pretty much I will have give my opinion about BlizzCon and what I'm excited for. So that would be fun. That will be fun. So what can I say? Thanks for watching everyone. And we'll see you at BlizzCon in 10 days. And I know I will not be there physically. I will just be watching with my virtual ticket for 40 bucks. Buy it now. This is not sponsored by Blizzard. So thanks for watching everyone. And see you in the next episode or live stream. Peace out.